I'm Kyle Weens. I started iFixit. We're the online repair manual. So I am here in Tribeca, New York, right outside the Apple store where people have been queuing up to buy the iPhone 5 all morning. And I have one. What I'm interested in is learning how these phones are put together and how long they're going to last. So what I'm going to do is take this apart and show you the materials that Apple used to construct the iPhone. Do you know what's inside an iPhone? No. But I love the phone, so I just keep buying them. I don't care. I mean, whatever, whenever it's not, nothing is working, it's better to get a new one. I don't think a lot of people fix it, like get it fixed. They just wait until a new one comes out or they just let it stay that way. Just tossing a phone away because a consumable wore out is like tossing a car away because your tires wore out. I think that's a travesty. The first thing you notice when you look at the phone is there are two screws on the bottom. This is a proprietary screw that Apple invented to keep you out of the iPhone. Our goal is to help you get inside these things. So we make a tool, this is a pentalobe driver bit to help you get inside the iPhone. First thing we're gonna do is remove the two pentalobe driver bits. And then I am using a magnetic uh, sorting mat as I disassemble this, just cause it, it, it hangs onto the screws so I don't knock them off the table. All right, once I have those two screws out, so I'm gonna use a suction cup here and I gotta work the phone, the tabs of the phone up. This is a little bit tricky. You have to use more force than you really feel like you want to be using on the display. There are cables attaching the screen to the phone, and we got to disconnect those before we can separate the screen entirely. So now once I'm inside the phone, standard Phillips triple zero, this is like a kind of screwdriver you'd use to work on a pair of eyeglasses. All right, so I'm going to remove the two screws on the display data cable cover. Now that we're in here, I have a separate cable for the display and for the uh, touch screen and the home button. So I'm going to pop those cables off. And once the cables are off, now we can finally separate the display assembly. You can see most of the phone is a battery. The rest of this, this is the main circuit board, so this is the, the processor of the iPhone is right here. You got to be very careful not to break the cable that connects the battery to the phone. If it's an iPhone, you got to spend the time fixing it because they're definitely way too expensive. I'd be interested to see the big uh, the big trash yards in China or wherever in the world they may be full of computers and cell phones because consumerism has gotten a bit out of control. What we found is that the circuit board has uh, about 116 parts per million of bromine, 20,000 parts per million chlorine, and 12 parts per million mercury. If, if this was ever recycled in a improper manner, it could really cause a lot of health issues for the people doing it. We, we also tested every previous iPhone and we found that the iPhone 5 has come a long way. That said, there's no such thing as a green phone, there's no such thing as a phone that has no toxic chemicals in them. We manufactured globally two billion cell phones in 2012, so it's critically important that we consume as few phones as possible to conserve the resources we have. I feel like we've given a lot of the power over to Apple, so being able to disassemble these things and maintain them ourselves is a little bit of freedom.